We painted over the sidewalk last week, I think. Yes. And we used chalk paint by Annie Sloan. It is an amazing paint. It has many, many uses. Um, can be used inside and out. So we painted this square because we had done something back in May and it was very kind of spring summery. And so we thought, you know, Buffalo Chalk has always been popular. And I'm always late to the game and I'm starting to like, oh, I love it. So I'm like, why don't we just repaint it and do a Buffalo Check pattern? And we literally repainted it white and then had our roof redone on Saturday. So the roofers were here and you know, you can see they dragged some of their equipment, but everything, the paint's still there, but. Um, so if we hosed it off or power washed it off, would that clean it up? Yeah, I think so. The power wash, believe it or not, probably would not take the paint off because we have spilled paint and tried to remove it off the concrete using a power washer and wasn't very successful. Because concrete's really porous, you might take some of it off, so that would be my only concern. It's almost like a really heavily grained piece of wood. The, the paint will get absorbed deep into the, the wood grain, but on the surface you might be able to take some of it off. But um, The buffalo check pattern, we decided to use Paris Gray for the majority of the stripes and then where the stripes intersect. Where the stripes, <laughs> <laughs> stripes intersect. Keep your voice down. That's somebody that's very against painting concrete. Um, where the Paris Gray stripes intersect, that's where we're gonna probably use graphite. So it'll have like, you know, that buffalo plaid, buffalo check kind of look to it. Um, you know, a lot of times people have issues opening the lids. Um, in the beginning, the lids were on too tight. Danny acknowledged that, but I'm finding, I'm gonna come down here if you wanna get a little closer. We like to use, basically it's like a can opener. You can actually hear it when it starts to pull that upwards. This is one of our dented cans that we got. We save them for ourselves. You don't want to have this lid, outer wider perimeter lid, bending 90 degrees. So take your time going around and it's almost all the way out, I can feel it. And then it pops. There you go. If I had a paintbrush, I would take all this off and start painting with that first. And I, I'm somewhat OCD. I would actually wash off anything left. So when I put my lid back in, it's nice and clean. Um, I'm not gonna have any paint left over. I already know that. So I'm just gonna pour some right inside my pan.
What we're not painting is 15 inches from here to here. And then what we are painting had to be 15 inches from the inside of the tape to the inside of the tape. So it took a little bit of math, nothing too crazy. And if you really worried about being exact. Deborah wants to know how you're going to seal it. 